this episode, let's try to understand what is a sewage treatment plant. On board, we have a requirement of sewage treatment plant. You know why? Because we cannot just directly throw the waste outside. So whatever human waste which is there will be sent to something called as a sewage treatment plant. And in this sewage treatment plant, we have three stages. First stage is settling stage. Second stage, we have something called as aeration stage. And third stage is chlorination or some kind of sterilization stage. So our sewage treatment plant is working on the principle of uh, with the help of aerobic bacteria. So the aerobic bacteria which is there with the help of air, they are able to decompose the sewage and completely, you know, turn it into water. And for that reason, what we have is we have some blowers which we will be injecting air inside the system. In the first stage, the settling stage which is there, the raw sewage comes and it is broken down into small pieces, either with the help of a grid or some kind of arrangement will be provided. Now, after that, it is sent to your aeration stage. Now, aeration stage, what will happen is we will have a lot of air which will be pumped into. So, because of which, what will happen is the aerobic bacteria which is there will multiply and grow at a very fast rate. And because of which, they will be able to break down the sewage at a much faster rate. And whatever sediments, whatever large particles which are there will settle down, will settle down. And when they come down, they are pushed with the help of air again back to the settling stage. Now, once we have done that, once we have sent it back to settling stage, so they again by the time they come back to aeration stage, you know, it is given more time so that if any material, any material which is bigger in size remains, it is sent back so that it gets more time to break, you know, to break it down into very, very fine. Okay. After that, what is done is after the aeration stage, it overflows, it flows through the chlorine tablets. And sometimes you might not have chlorine, but some kind of chlorine liquid you might be pumping into the chlorination chamber. So it flows to the chlorine tablets and then it falls into the, st um, the sterilization or the chlorination chamber. Sometimes we have also UV light for sterilization. And uh, what is done is, why this chlorine is used? This chlorine is used to kill the bacteria which we have produced, which we have multiplied. And that's the reason this chlorine is used. Also to make sure that no kind of bacteria, E. coli bacteria or some other bacteria survives and is pumped out. We have some regulations for the sewage also. Uh, for untreated sewage, we have to pump only after above four, uh, 12 nautical miles. Otherwise treated and communicated, uh, communicated sewage, we have some kind of uh, rules and regulation. We will not go into it right now. Uh, we also have, for nowadays, there are certain ports where we cannot pump out sewage directly. So, what we will do whenever we reach to port or to such an area where it is not possible to pump out, we will send it to a sewage tank. And what we do, we store it there and when we go outside, when we are further away from 12 nautical miles, we can empty the tank. Okay. We also have on some ships a vacuum tap system. And in vacuum tap system, what happens is the toilet is flushed only with vacuum. There is no water used. So that goes to a sewage tank and then little by little it's transferred to your sewage, uh, sewage treatment plant. And then again, you know, the same process is done and pumping out is done. So this is how we are taking care of sewage on board. There are some tests which are to be uh, conducted, especially chlorine test. And uh, we also have to make sure that the plant is producing properly. We have to make sure we avoid using chemicals in our WCs and uh, washrooms which go to sewage treatment plant. Otherwise, what can happen if we don't take care of the chemicals, if we pump, use any kind of chemicals, we can damage the bacteria. And with the bacteria is killed, your entire sewage treatment plant will not operate. Okay, so for that reason, we have special chemicals which is user friendly for the bacteria. So we have to make sure we use that kind of chemical. Okay, so I hope you have understood on this. If you have any doubt, if you feel I have missed out, you would know some other things, find out and type it down. Till my next video, best of luck, be safe. Take care.